Ooh, hello there. Yes, well, sort of mid-weeky, mid-holesy, uh, and uh, mid-getting things done. Yeah, sort of change me position in the room and all that stuff. Anyway, um, yesterday um, I managed to miss um, a piece in the Telegraph from the Free Speech Union, a bit of Free Speech Union research. So I thought, right, OK, let's have my looking at rubbish research hat on, because if it's the Free Speech Union, we know it's going to be really bad. But let's look at this, OK, because um, beautifully on the Free Speech uh, website, they managed to link to the Daily Telegraph piece, which links back to the Free speech piece which I've read obviously and tried to understand. Hmm. Let's have a look at it. Okay. Diversity training forces workers to hide beliefs for fear of losing job. Yeah, one of those usual things they bang on about. You'll often hear quoted that thing that um, people feel uncomfortable sitting next to people who don't have share the same opinions as them, which sounds like it's a dreadful indictment of post-Brexit Britain, but actually it's a natural human reaction. I don't want to sit next to a fascist. Other people don't want to sit next to a communist. It's kind of the way it works. But underneath this, this is where it gets to be fun. Free Speech Union found that 31% had left a former employer because of their endorsement of woke ideology. 31% of people have left an employer because they're not happy with woke ideology. OK, I don't believe that for one second, and I'm presuming you don't either, for blindingly obvious reasons. It's a blindingly high figure. I mean, if it was 5%, I might buy into it. 31? No. So, I went to the... Uh, went to the Free Speech Union's website to look at the piece, and I'll basically explain to you the way that they've done this and as ever with the Daily Telegraph the Daily Telegraph hasn't bothered to do anything other than just put out a press release to the Free Speech Union so <laughs> think about this right perhaps most shockingly of all 36% have said they'd witnessed staff being penalised in some way for their, by their current employer because they challenge edict training this includes 12% who have witnessed staff being fired for doing so 12% of people surveyed have witnessed someone being fired because they challenged EDI training. No. No. There is no way. I cannot conceive of how you could do research unless you went to the... I got fired from my EDI training because I spoke out support group meeting 12 percent farcical i'm sorry toby farcical right let's move on yeah uh, <laughs> so before we get to the actual raw numbers here okay 45 percent said their edict training conflicted with their personal religious or political views or values mm, or values mm. the proportion was higher amongst men ethnic minorities religious groups and 30 to 39 year olds right now from what we know across the board of politics and demographics, we know that, broadly speaking, people under 40 are left-leaning in terms of their politics, right? OK, big change has gone on the last 20 or so years. Basically, people are not growing out of being left-wing from when they were younger, which is basically your under 40s. And yet, magically, with this particular survey, we've got highest amongst 30 to 39 year olds. It doesn't say how high, so I'm having to guess that it's just statistically higher than the other groups. But think about everything you know about British politics and ages. That doesn't make any sense at all, does it? No, it really doesn't. So we come to the actual crux of the matter, Mr. Toby Young and Free Speech Union. The sample was taken using Dynator consumer access panels and designed to be rep designed to be mm, representative of UK working age working population by age blah 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 excluding a few people. All right, eight hundred people qualified for the full survey. Now think about that just briefly, okay? They qualified for the full survey, okay? What does that mean? probably hints very, very strongly that they didn't get 800 people to fill this out. Those being, these being those who had been through at least one of the following four types of training. Okay, fine, right, okay. But <laughs> when you look at Dinator, 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 whatever they are, 
okay, and do a quick online search, they are amongst the lowest rated of these tick boxes and fill in the forms if this interests you because we want to find out your feelings about soap style companies they pay people for these surveys what i'm guessing that the, because of the very precise way that they worded this is that they didn't get 800 people to fill in the forms in any real depth whatsoever now there is nothing on the Free Speeches Union site to suggest any notion of the actual questions that people were asked, okay? Which should ring alarm bells. Certainly does with me because, you know, I teach sociology, so I'm keen on this. The one interesting thing they do have is um, these, this table, basically, of where their actual biases are. So, um, within however many people they've managed, it can't be 800, surely, people that they've managed to actually get to fill in this thing, okay, you get to see where the biases are. So, the reds here basically give you an over-representation. Look at this. Entrepreneurial activity, religion, including <laughs> being Muslim, is vastly over-represented on this okay generally speaking this is heavily quite heavily biased towards people that are politically right wing in other words when the survey went out and people started to fill it in those people that persevered with it were people with some form of political willingness to do so should we say under representative groups for example are things like being a woman or being left of center yeah those kind of things are underrepresented. But the problem here, I'll say it again, is we don't know what the questions were asked and we don't see any form of data. So, Mr. Young, I would love to see the raw data from this. I'm presuming the company <laughs> uh, won't actually give any of that out. And it's junk. It is absolutely grade A patently grade a garbage 12 percent of people have witnessed someone being fired no they haven't no they haven't it's rubbish like lots of the other rubbish that we get now you can find some links down below for another couple of videos that i've done on free speech union uh, research you just take one vague look at it and you find yourself falling down laughing it is not research. It is designed to make sure that Toby Young gets his articles in the press and he can bang on politically about how dreadful it is that over 10% of the British population have been fired for questioning EDI training. Which must be true because Toby says so, and it's in the Daily Telegraph. I, I don't know how these people can get away with it, sleep at night, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, they're being paid. But Jesus Christ, you could get, you could get a GCSE sociology student who's 15 to come up with better research than this. It is laughable that this is what we have to put up with in terms of press in this country. And of course, it'll be presented as fact everywhere else as well. Ja, ja, ja. Anyway, do have a lovely Wednesday. I'm sure you will. Um, yeah. Sun and showers. Sun and showers. Anyway, enjoy.